What's up, you guys? I just heard somebody has a gin attachment. Okay. Okay, so having a gin attachment does not necessarily have to be a bad thing. If you walk with God, then the jinn is your servant. Um, but if you do not walk with God, so to speak, um, Allah, the Most High, if you are not in alignment with the greater good of humankind and of all, um, then you are more susceptible to becoming its servant, so to speak, slave, servant, not even, but yeah, in a way you can become a servant, not you, okay? But somebody, anybody could become a servant to this type of a demonic energy, this type of a, this type of an energy. Um, let's talk about it a little bit, okay? Um, I don't think that I'm fully prepared to dive into this completely, but I can just kind of do like maybe some like bullet points. Okay, so uh, some ways that you can identify having a gin in your, or this could also be somebody close to you had a gin attachment. Or something like that and um it's weird because I'm feeling like whoever you are there was somebody next near you who had a gin attachment but it's like whoever you are you may have also like conjured up like a gin from your past oh Jesus okay um yeah thank you Jesus for being here um but it's like, whoever you are, you walk with God. And so maybe you have been studying, learning more about this type of an energy. Okay. Maybe somebody's been doing that. Anyways, if somebody's been noticing that they're manifesting and their manifestations and stuff like that have been a little wonky, that could very well indicate that somebody has a gin attachment. Okay. And then you need to just clear your energy, whoever this message is for, you know, you just need to clear your energy, take a few weeks and just be really, really careful with your energy. Um, like, and then once you've cleared your energy, um, perhaps then start doing normal things that you would normally do. And cause there's somebody who is in somebody's energy who has this attachment. Okay. So, and it's like, I feel like there's a, somebody conjured up something from their past to in, in or spirit and or God is walking with you and with the energy of, of understanding a jinn to be able to deal with the situation. It's like, it's like I'm hearing somebody understanding and hearing what's going to happen when they do something and then they do it and then it happens and it's kind of like spirit is like, see, we're telling you that this is that there's, there's some wonky <laughs> like manifestations. Okay. Spirit's like trying to tell somebody because of somebody else in their energy who does not have, who has not done, who has not overcome this demon, so to speak. Okay. Let's pull some cards. You guys just take what resonates too. Um, and if you don't believe in like jinns and demons or whatever, you know, I don't know what you guys are beliefs are, but this is some Archon energy shit and it's, but it's a very specific type of Archon energy, a very specific pattern of mischief is really what it is and what I'm hearing. And, um, and again, you guys, I, no judgment, but okay. Ace of cups. Yeah, it's like some, or maybe this was something in the past too, because we've got the Seven of uh, Swords here turning over a new leaf, but also the Seven of Swords can be a card of mastery. So I feel like whoever has that gin attachment, like I said, like they haven't mastered it. And you may have even been put in this person's life to help them master this, and they decided not to. They chose not to. I don't know how that worked for whoever this reading is for, but you would know if this reading is for you. Okay. So we've got it again. Okay. And then we've got the judgment. So I just shuffled the deck and then, then this just keeps coming out. Okay. So somebody's turning over a new leaf. You are turning over a new leaf. I believe that this is you. And then I also believe that with the seven of swords in the reverse position, it's telling me a double message. It's saying you have turned over a new leaf. But they have not mastered this. 
Somebody has not mastered what you've mastered. Okay, what the hell is the message? Spirit answers. What was the original message that I even heard now? Spirit, what was it? Or, like, what I'm actually seeing is, like, somebody, like, walking around and just basically, like, saying, like, okay, this person, is this person's attachment, has this person's attachment been integrated? No, not yet. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle a little something here. I'm going to give them an opportunity. I feel like this is you. And you're like, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit over here. I'm going to give them an opportunity. And it's like, if they ascend out of it, then, then and they figure it out, and they they discipline themselves to, to do the, the, take the steps to do what they need to do on their own. There's something that like maybe you walk in and you just kind of like trigger is not the right word because trigger kind of has like a negative connotation. I feel like you trigger, but in like a more positive way. And, and it's not like a tr you don't trigger people's traumas. It's more of like you trigger and open up some sort of healing, but not in, but not like that though. I don't know how else to say it. I feel like you guys will understand though. It's, uh, it's an activation. It's not necessarily a trigger. Okay. There you go. Yeah. It's an activation. You activate people. Maybe it's like you activate people, but you're recognizing people who trigger other people. And it's like, you're, there's something about something that you do that almost helps them to like not trigger people. But I don't know. Somebody fell back. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody fell back and you recognize this. And you have created space. You turned over a new leaf. There's a new contract coming in for you. One that's going to be more fulfilling and grounded. I always liken this card to a djinn. Wish fulfillment. Um, but I feel like there's some sort of a shift in a paradigm with regards to... It's like you dip in and out of the light and the dark. You kind of go back and forth. Okay. You're it's, you're in the light now though. Um, it's time to conjure the light. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. Um, somebody needs to get outside more and, or somebody needs to self-regulate or focus on self-regulating. Whoever you are, I feel like you're very self-aware. The intention was to make you not feel like you were self-aware and or to get somebody so emotionally discombobulated that they, I, there's almost like this energy of desperation too that somebody wanted somebody to be in, that a karmic energy wanted you to be in if this reading is for you, and an energy of desperation so that you would not be very, um, so you would not be, you would be wishing for the wrong things, so to speak, Okay. And you would not be, you would not recognize. There's something else about some, oh God. Okay. Now I'm, I'm, there's something else about somebody's karma and this gin wanting to make whoever you are, if this reading is for you, feel like you were receiving karma that they were receiving, but that karma is not your karma. It, this is fucked up. And then it's like, God was kind of like, okay, look, this is this. And then I don't know, God opened up, maybe somebody had a dream or maybe somebody's just been receiving downloads and you might not even know that you're dealing with this particular energy, but the, but the, but like I said, if you've been noticing that your manifestations have been a little wonky and like literally like, like a manifestation that happens at the expense of somebody else would be the product of wishing and having a gin attachment and, and having that gin fulfill that for you essentially. And if you do have a gin attachment, you would, they, they would be talking to you. They would talk to you and you would say, yeah, you would have to confirm. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Like it's fucked up. I know. But, um, but like, whereas like, it's like with the most high, if you're trying to manifest, you just, so it's like, if you, with the most high, you're just trying to manifest and you, you know, you just, you kind of just put it out there and you release it, right? So somebody was trying to put somebody in some sort of like a, a desperate energy so that they wouldn't be able to just sit, like conjure the light, see where they're supposed to go from God, sit in that energy for a little while, release, and then that manifest itself. So somebody wanted to get you in this energy of desperation so that you could not do that. Okay. But it did not work. It did not work. Okay. I, okay. What else? Spirit answers to my twilight. Like.
it's it's almost like I'm seeing like <laughs> I'm almost seeing like you judgment again. It's God, okay? It's I'm almost seeing like somebody. It's almost like God didn't make you as like didn't make you look as strong as you are for a particular situation and it's almost like it, what I'm seeing is like somebody like I'm seeing like little red riding hoods this this is a really weird analogy but it's like little red riding hood and then like the the wolf like comes up to her and tries to eat her but behind you is like a pack of like bigger wolves like big 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 wolves like I don't it's like but I'm seeing somebody like pull it out of the pocket you know what I mean and it's kind of like God is like here Put this in your pocket. Put this in your back. Put this power and this energy in your back pocket just for a little while. We're going to we're gonna peep out this situation, but I'm going to let you pull this back out of your back pocket when the timing is right. And that's what happened. Okay? Okay. I got goosebumps. That's what's up. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I'm going to leave it there. 11, 11 on the clock. All right. I'm sending you guys so much love. Thanks so much for being here. Until next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. Bye.